A two-stroke diesel engine is a diesel engine that works in two strokes. A diesel engine is an internal combustion engine which operates using the diesel cycle. Invented in 1892 by German engineer Rudolf Diesel, it was based on the hot bulb engine design and patented on February 23, 1893. During the period of 1900 to 1930, four-stroke diesel engines enjoyed a relative dominance in practical diesel applications. Charles F. Kettering and colleagues, working at the various incarnations of Electromotive and at the General Motors Research Corporation during the 1930s, advanced the art and science of two-stroke diesel technology to yield engines with much higher power-to-weight ratios than the two-stroke diesels of old. This work was instrumental in bringing about the dieselization of railroads in the 1940s and 1950s. All diesel engines use compression ignition, a process by which fuel is injected after the air is compressed in the combustion chamber, thereby causing the fuel to self-ignite. By contrast, gasoline engines utilize the Otto cycle, or, more recently, the Atkinson cycle in which fuel and air are mixed before entering the combustion chamber and then ignited by a spark plug. Two strokes, two stroke internal combustion engines are more simple mechanically than four stroke engines, but more complex in thermodynamic and aerodynamic processes, according to SAE definitions. In a two stroke engine, the four cycles of internal combustion engine theory occur in one revolution, 360 mechanical degrees whereas in a four-stroke engine these occur in two complete revolutions, 720 mechanical degrees. In a two-stroke engine, more than one function occurs at any given time during the engine's operation. Intake begins when the piston is near the bottom dead center. Air is admitted to the cylinder through ports in the cylinder wall. All two-stroke diesel engines require artificial aspiration to operate and will either use a mechanically driven blower or a turbo compressor to charge the cylinder with air. In the early phase of intake, the air charge is also used to force out any remaining combustion gases from the preceding power stroke, a process referred to as scavenging. As the piston rises, the intake charge of air is compressed. Near top dead center, fuel is injected, resulting in combustion due to the charge's extremely high pressure and heat created by compression which drives the piston downward. As the piston moves downward in the cylinder it will reach a point where the exhaust port is open to expel the high-pressure combustion gases. However, most current two-stroke diesel engines use top-mounted poppet valves and eye flow scavenging. Continued downward movement of the piston will expose the air intake ports in the cylinder wall, and the cycle will start again. In most M and GM two-stroke engines, very few parameters are adjustable and all the remaining ones are fixed by the mechanical design of the engines. The scavenging ports are open from 45 degrees before BDC, to 45 degrees after BDC. The remaining, adjustable, parameters have to do with exhaust valve and injection timing, and these are established to maximize combustion gas exhaust, and to maximize charge air intake, and these two parameters are not necessarily symmetrical about TDC. A single camshaft operates the poppet type exhaust valves and the unit injector, using three lobes, two lobes for exhaust valves. Specific to M2 stroke engines, the power stroke begins at TDC, after which power stroke the exhaust valves are open thereby greatly reducing combustion gas pressure and temperature, and preparing the cylinder for scavenging, for a power stroke duration of 103 degrees, scavenging begins 32 degrees later. At BDC a euro 45 degrees, 135 degrees, and ends at BDC plus 45 degrees, 225 degrees, for a scavenging duration of 90 degrees. The 32 degree delay in opening the scavenging ports, and the 16 degree delay after the scavenging ports are closed, maximizes scavenging effectiveness, thereby maximizing engine power output, while minimizing engine fuel consumption. Towards the end of scavenging, all products of combustion have been forced out of the cylinder, and only charge air remains. The compression stroke begins 16 degrees later, at BDC plus 61 degrees, 241 degrees, for a compression stroke duration of 119 degrees. In EFI equipped engines, the electronically controlled unit injector is still actuated mechanically. 
the amount of fuel fed into the plunger type injector pump is under the control of the engine control unit, rather than the traditional Woodward PGE governor, or equivalent engine governor, as with conventional unit injectors, specific to GM two-stroke and related on-road marine two-stroke engines. The same basic considerations are employed, whereas some EMD and Detroit diesel engines employ turbocharging, only such EMD engines employ a turbo compressor system. Such Detroit diesel engines employ a conventional turbocharger, in some cases with intercooling, followed by the usual roots blower, as a turbo compressor system would be too costly for these very cost-sensitive, and highly competitive applications. Notable manufacturers, Burmester and Wayne double-acting diesels for marine propulsion from 1930 onwards, also made by shipbuilders under license. Detroit Diesel, a knife flow engines for on- and off-road trucks, on-road buses and stationary applications, Doxford, opposed piston slow-speed marine diesel engines. Electromotive Diesel, a knife flow diesel engines for marine, railway and stationary applications, Fairbanks Morse, opposed piston diesel engines for marine and stationary applications. Fodden, FD series of diesel engines for commercial vehicle, marine and industrial power. Gray Marine, a knife flow diesel engines for marine applications, MAN diesel and turbo, crosshead diesel engines for marine propulsion, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, crosshead diesel engines for marine propulsion, Napier and Sun, Napier Deltic and Napier Culver in opposed piston valveless, supercharged uniflow scavenged, two stroke diesel engines. Roots Group, the Comma TS3 engine for trucks, WA currency RTSILA currency, crosshead diesel engines for marine propulsion. References Bibliography equals Works cited equals, Sloan, Alfred P., MacDonald, John, Ed., My Years with General Motors, Garden City, New York, USA, Doubleday, LCCN 64,011,306, OCLC 802,024. Republished in 1990 with a new introduction by Peter Drucker. Equals further reading equals, Walshaw, TD, Diesel Engine Design, London, England, George Nunes Limited, LCCN 54,029,678.